Uh, it's it's officially canon in Western Washington. Uh, melts Mega Man. Melts that metal down. Got to make that money. How's how's the uh, effect in this chart work, work in terms of metal and yeah, yeah fire does be metal so like yeah yeah so I was I was in, 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 in Pokemon, Gen six yeah fire and Gen six my age my uh, age slash would always get bodied by um, brave brave uh, by Tom Flame Tom okay. Flame yeah the interesting <laughs> thing about Mega Man is that he um, has can equip any TM that he wants if he was a, uh, if he's a Pokemon that's true if we were to make it meta if options. we were to make it meta yeah. yeah he can hit you with a lot of different things okay so all right other side of losers eight so we are gonna see Pokepen versus Pyrees all right so. I, either Bayonetta or Corn versus. Um, I'm gonna guess Bayonetta, absolutely. Um, you know, he says that he likes to play Corn, and he, I think he saves Corn for like a couple of matchups, but he is absolutely a Bayonetta man at this mm -hmm. point in time. No matter what that young child says to you, uh, Pokepen, a local hero right now. He's actually a pretty humble kid, 15 years old, number four on our PR, was always a PR threat. Until, and then he picked up Bayonetta and really took off, of course, a story you hear oh. more and more. But the reason that he's a local hero, this kid doesn't never ask for rides, never gets rides from his parents. He buses oh, from okay. SeaTac everywhere he goes. All right, okay. He bussed to my house this for a Smash Fest and walked two miles. Didn't even ask for a ride from the bus stop. I'm like, what are you? This man. I would have picked you up. This man's dedicated. Wow. He's dedicated. I, I love Whoa. it. He puts in the work and for All those. Right. Bayonetta definitely doesn't carry him. I, I, I have a newfound he, respect. He, yeah, he, he carries himself, work. dog. Yeah, like, he, shit. <laughs> yeah, he literally uses the money he wins for brackets and brews to pay for bus fares. <laughs> doesn't ask for his parents. Man, he's better than some adults. <laughs> I know, right? So, anyways, and we've already talked about Pyrees a little bit on stream. Of course, the famous Samus main uh, for his exploits. Uh, uh, get, and, get but let, let's introduce you to Pokepen here. Pokepen <laughs> just... Another thing about Pokepen is he has almost a really trolly playstyle. He loves to fall with Witch Time. Look for that. That's his number one thing. He he spams the hell out of Witch Time because he doesn't care. And that's it, man. That's, wow. that's it. Po Pokepen po playing to just like he got stage control immediately, got the chip damage, and just kind of waited for uh, Paris his options and reacted to every one of them. Yes, absolutely. Right. I think the last time they played, I want to say Pyrees beat Pokepen, um, but that was it might change today. That was a month and a half ago. Um, at an orbit. In a minute. Yeah. So, Pokepen, can I get this Witch so Twist a little bit Pyrus going? does have Charge Shot on deck. Yeah. As he almost always does. Yeah. Like, that's just his play style. He sits there and threatens with this. So I wonder, much. you know, because depending on how you charge it, if you only have it, like, not all the way charged, uh -huh. the headbox will be active on frame one. So, yeah. you, you have to be careful playing, like, a CQC close quarter combat with with uh, Pyrus at that point. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Oh, one thing we saw in his uh, last set, I forget who is against, but he takes his time uh, firing it in the, at the beginning of the set until he starts to get a read and gets a download. And the longer the set goes on, the quicker he will fire off that charge shot. I like the use of which time to kind of abuse the invincibility to get a, landing, a safe landing. Uh-huh. Oh, good punish there from Pyrus. And we're going to start seeing him throw out that charge shot more and more and more. And I want to say the rule of thumb, too, is when, when Samus does have charge shot, just, just stand like three characters away, uh, like or even more, because there's no reason to approach uh, when you have this big giant ball that hit you in the face. Ooh. Like I just said, oh my god! I'm Punishes the witch twist attempt, and Pyrees didn't take that much on his stock despite getting almost zero to death on his All first right. stock. So Pyrees getting caught in his uh, air dodges twice. I like, I like that. Pokepen dashed, Ooh. dashed, and then up beat it. It's, it's kind of those micro steps he was using. Ooh, which yep. time, boys? Are we time. Out? Oh, wow. He, Pokepen. He will spam that witch time, and he doesn't mess around with his witch time punishes. He doesn't try to get the fancy setups. He, if, if, he will spam it if you're at kill percent, and he will kill you with an up smash. That's he optimal. Will, he awesome. will spam it when you're at low percent, and he will immediately start in on a witch twist combo. He, is, he uh, uses it very well. But yeah, I, I was so impressed because, like I mentioned earlier, he dashed into upbeat. Normally, people would try to find like an option that reaches to that reaches that range, uh -huh. but he uses micro dashes. In a sense, that's you know, talk about being an adult. That's a very <laughs> that's a very grown player thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh. Speaking of grown, you get 17 percent from firing those foot guns. All foot right. guns are grown as that. Oh, yeah. The other, the other, <laughs> wow, he got out of that. You see that? So the the rapid jab. Yeah, he uh, Pyrus got out of it and, and then fell fell down up air. Mm. Oh, I think it's might be death. I think it's might be death. I think it's yes. might be death. Time in a row, Pokepen is oh, nearly wow. zero to death, Pyrees. And oh, oh hey, we got to oh, disconnect. Hey, we got to disconnect. Oh, my boy. So, all right, so I'm still watching on, on this end. 
Pyrus gets, gets a dash tech. No surprise here. Something ha uh, there's a disconnect on stream as well. Um, they stopped playing. I think they just reset real quick. They're back to playing. I will let you know what's going on as soon as it happens. Oh, sorry about this, guys. This is very unfortunate, especially when we had such a momentum-based uh, set going. Yeah, they're they're disconnected on the stream too, or on the setup. All right, so we are back. All right, I'm um, just going to play it out. I think they're playing it out. Yep. Yeah, I think right. it's gonna. you're going to have just the players just decide to do that, and that's unfortunate. All right, so ge gentlemen's gentlemen's here. Yeah. All right, so Pokemon landing here. Pressure, Uppies yeah. out of it. K kind of like the, the dragon punch of uh, what Samus has there. Okay. Ooh, I like that catches the with fair. Just, just damage. That's all you need is damage, man. Yeah, Pyrie's so aggressive Ooh, coming back to the catching stage. Catching the landing. Yeah, gets that up air by the ledge and then catches the landing with that He also tried to call the jump right there as well, uh -huh. but Pokemon able to, to land and just... I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. And wow. Yeah. If he missed that, he'd have been dead, but he has stock to play with, so why yeah. not go for the style? Yeah, exactly. Thanks has been in style. He's I mean, just styled. He was in the corner of the board <laughs> looking like a... looking like a rook on a chessboard there. Stuff in the corner. Nowhere to go. Yeah. Yeah. Chess fans out there? Checkers, man. Checkers? Oh, whatever. You're over here playing checkers. I'm over here playing chess. Hey, man. Smoke for hey. fire. Smoke for fire. You know hey, what I'm saying? Whatever. Speaking of fire, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of fire, we got a fire top eight for you here. Poke Pen. We're going to see if he gets to another near zero to death, but Pyrie's starting this third game off a lot better than he started off the first two. Back to Dreamland, by the way, where we have seen uh, Pyrie's do some remarkable things. Yeah, shouts to old, old uh, Emerald City. Ooh, he, get, That's he, right. he shielded it, but he kind of dashed back at the same time. And Samus' role is just one of the worst in the game. I'm not going to lie. The technology. Ooh, I like that. He canceled his uh, his charge with w the, uh, you know, he's canceled it, and he was able to kind of reverse back air. Uh-huh. Oh, mix up, I yeah. think, think this will be it. Up smash. Yeah, that witch twist. Ooh, oh, catching it. So Reset. Good. The re Down there. It knocks him up in the air, and then he witch twists past him. When he comes out of the witch time, he will be flying past him. He gets on the platform and is able to reset the witch. Yeah, the, the extensions so good. The extensions from Pokemon are just you know, they're, like I said, they're optimal. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't make flubs. I haven't yet seen this man fl flub that much. No, uh, have you have you commentated many of his sets before? Not many, no. He is he is remarkable. He has gotten so much better in such a short amount of time. Okay, but ba uh, but <laughs> meanwhile we're gushing about Pokemon. Pyrees took that stock with a charge shot. Even this game up almost. Poke Pen getting these early percent wish twists. That grab was kind of sus, uh, but I, I, I wonder what he's trying to go for. He wants to, I think, grab when uh, Bayonetta goes past the ledge. There we go, a grab up there. Well, I think this is the technology you're talking yes. about. Yes. Oh. But we do have the bat with thing coming through. But uh -huh. I see with his Twitter, Twitter combos, you get up thrown, you can get up air on the top platform yes. of Dreamland. Yes, yeah. he wants to go to Chip Blast to take advantage of that. I think the issue was. Uh, maybe just had a little bit too much percent on Bayonetta. I want to say so as well, work, yeah. Um, for that to Because it true. works very low percents. Yeah, it is. I've seen the counter. It is true. Um, but yeah, Poke Pen able to get away from that potential death situation. Oh boy, it's caught Pyrus. the air dodge. I think this is it. Pyrie's out, is. out of this oh tournament. Poke Pen getting that grab on the top platform. And it, it was just the fear, I think. Uh, you know, he automatically just air dodged until it kind of reacted to what was coming next. Yeah. Poke Pen taking it solidly, though. Yes. Give, give, give a clap for that, man. Yeah, hands wow. up. Hands up for the 15 year old taking out our local Samus. Pyrie's going to finish in seventh place. A solid showing for him here at Emerald City 5. Poke Pen moving on. I believe he will play either Shinko or Captain L. If it's Shinko, that's interesting because those two have gone back and forth in sets quite a bit um, as of late. And <laughs> and if it's Captain L, that's interesting because I don't think those two have played before. But regardless, I, I believe we're actually going to see Captain L versus Magister and Poke Pen versus Shinko on the other side of losers. So Captain L and Magister have already played today. Have they? Yes. Interesting. Yeah, and Captain L. Captain L knocking Magister uh, into losers. Obviously. Yeah, it was it was honestly the last hit last game. Okay. Um, so already getting a taste of what I had earlier. We're definitely yeah. in for a ride. Either either it's going to be a more of the same, or we'll see if one per player made a, a quite an adjustment. Um, 
The okay. big thing is that, you know, kind of going air to air with Pikachu is a little hard because he does have kind of the frame data and the, uh, the hitbox. Um, and Charizard can also kind of like kind of clash with him, but he needs to find a way to out trade him. Yeah. Um, the advice I give Master is, you know, use more raw back air. You have to space it, but uh -huh. 